How a bank's net interest income reacts to changes in interest rates depends on the balance sheet type for that bank. A bank's balance sheet type could be asset sensitive or it could be liability sensitive. Now, before I get into the details, the question is why? Why would we have these different balance sheet types for banks? And the reason is that banks hold financial instruments, both as assets and liabilities, and those financial instruments can be fixed rate, they can be floating rate, they could be long term or they could be short term. And even if you have floating rate assets and floating rate liabilities, there can still be differences because floating rate instruments can reset at different frequencies. Okay, so all these differences lead to different balance sheet types for banks. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is, does the bank have an asset sensitive balance sheet or does it have a liability sensitive balance sheet? Now, if we didn't have any of these differences, we didn't have uh, resetting at different frequencies, fixed rate, floating rate. If everything was the same in terms of the asset side and the liability side of the balance sheet, then an increase of, let's say, 100 basis points in interest rates would affect both assets and liabilities similarly. And so there would be no effect on the bank's net interest income. However, that's very rarely the case, that a change in interest rates of 100 basis points or whatever, 200 basis points, 10 basis points, would have no effect on the bank's net interest income because of all these differences that I, that I mentioned to you here. Okay, so asset sensitive. What does that mean to say that a bank's balance sheet is asset sensitive? An increase in interest rates, so let's say there was interest rates went up by 100 basis points, okay, that is going to increase the bank's net interest income, okay? So interest rates go up, then the bank's net interest income is going to go up when the bank has an asset sensitive balance sheet. Now, a decrease in interest rates would hurt net interest income if the bank had an asset sensitive balance sheet. Now, if it's liability sensitive, an increase in interest rates is a bad thing for net interest income. It's going to cause a decline in net interest income. Okay. Now, here I've summarized all that here. Let's get to a couple examples so it's not so abstract. Let's say we've got a bank. They've got assets are primarily floating rate commercial loans. Okay, so we got floating rate assets. The liabilities are fixed rate notes. So we got floating rate assets, fixed rate notes. So if interest rates go up, what's going to happen? Well, the uh, fixed rate notes aren't going to be affected. So the liabilities aren't going to be affected. The assets are floating rate. So this going to the, the assets based the, the rate we're getting on the commercial loans that's going to increase. Okay, so the bank's net interest income is going to increase. And be, because we're saying, "Oh, there's an increase in net interest income when uh, there's an increase in interest rates." See here, increase in interest rates, increase in net income. That means we've got an asset sensitive balance sheet okay so the change in interest rates it goes up and that's increasing the bank's net interest income okay now let's look at a different example let's say that we got a bank the assets are floating rate and the liabilities are floating rate so you'd say well wait a minute an increase in interest rates isn't going to have any effect because they're both floating rate but here's the catch here's the catch the floating rate liabilities reset quarterly, whereas the assets reset semi-annually. Okay, so the liabilities are going to reset faster than the assets. Okay, so even though they're both floating rate, the liabilities are going to reset faster. So if there was an increase in interest rates, okay, that's going to lead to a decrease in net interest income because the liabilities, even though they're both floating rate, the liabilities are going to reset faster. So they're more quickly going to reflect that increase in interest rate than the floating rate assets are. So net interest income is going to take a hit. Okay, so we would say this is a liability sensitive balance sheet. That's just to give you a couple examples of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so how do we know? Whether the balance sheet is, is asset sensitive or liability sensitive, we can look at different scenarios and say, okay, if, if, if there was an increase of 100 basis points in the interest rate, what will happen to net interest income? Would it go up? Would it go down? If we say, well, every time there's an increase in interest rates, net, net interest income goes up. Okay, if that's the scenario, then we say that this is an asset sensitive balance sheet. Now, once you know that, once you know, okay, it's an asset sensitive balance sheet or it's liability sensitive, who cares? What do we do with that? Well, once we know what type of balance sheet it is, we can take action to reduce the earning gap. And if you remember the earning gap, which we talked about in a previous video, just the difference between the rate sensitive assets and the rate sensitive liabilities. Okay, and that's going to affect how exposed the bank's net interest income is to changes in the interest rates. Now, how do we manage this? How do we reduce the earning gap? Well, one thing we could do 
matched maturity funding, okay, we try and say, okay, is there a way that we can fund our short-term assets with short-term liabilities, okay, and long-term assets with long-term liabilities? If we can do that, that is helpful. Matched rate funding has to do with where we say, okay, if we have fixed rate assets, can we fund them? Can we have our source of funding be fixed rate liabilities? Okay. So in addition, now, now this is not going to be enough, right? We're, no, we're, we're First of all, it, it's practically impossible to be able to match every single short-term asset with short-term liability. This is very difficult. This is easier said than done. Okay, so what is a bank going to do? It's also going to it's going to engage in interest rate swaps. It's going to engage in uh, basis swaps. It's trying to manage that interest rate risk. And we're going to talk about swaps and some of these ways of managing interest rate risk in the videos to come.